hey everyone welcome to my channel to all my subscribers thank you for your continued support and if you're new to my channel welcome cancer this is going to be your february monthly tarot read uh, we will be talking about who's coming towards you what's coming up for you for the month relating to love life career money whatever comes up okay um also, I'm using my very own tarot deck, so if you're interested to get a copy, you can check out my Etsy shop. I'll post the link in the description of this box or of this video. Okay, I do your uh, reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter placements. Um, if this reading resonates with you, good. If it doesn't, you can check out your other placements. And I do have the readings for all the other signs in my channel, so you can check those out too. All right, Cancer, let's get on with your reading. What do we have for Cancer? Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter in love and life and everything in between. I'll be doing a 13-card spread, uh, free flow reading. First card out, Death. Mm -hmm. Ten of Cups. Queen of Wands. Three of Cups. The Lovers. Five of Cups. Justice, the Tower, Eight of Wands, the Star, Page of Swords, the High Priestess, Four of Cups, and the Page of Cups. At the bottom of the deck, bam, it's good. Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles. Okay. I have 14 cards instead of 13, but that's all right. 14th is the Tower card, so let's put it there. Um, all right, Cancer. Wow. I see here that there's been... Um, there's been an ending that you may have had with someone um, not today but in the recent past there's been an ending we have death this is a final end to something but then it was transformed so this could be you we have the ten of cups next to it this could be you falling in love or now being happy in love so it seems like if there has been an ending with someone now there is that new opportunity for you to love again or being in love with someone. Um, if you're talking about rebound, I don't think it is. But this could be like, you know, you ended something and then you found someone else, someone new. That's the energy I am seeing. If you haven't had that now, um, this is for February reading. So just to note it down and let me know if this resonates. Okay. Um, yeah, that what I, that's what I see. You will meet someone who could make you happy. I don't know for how long, but there is an energy here of really two people falling in love, enjoying the time together, talking, kissing, um, spending time together in public, you know, like being out with your friends. And this gives you that full sense of um, emotional satisfaction. So you're happy. Yeah, even though you have ended something in the past, you're happy. Yeah, and I feel like you're being encouraged here for this month to push for what you really want in life. So it could be if you have any passion or hobbies that you want to pursue, go for it. If you have any idea uh, in terms of what you want to do for this year, this is the time to pursue that, to start it off, to plan it out. Yeah. Because the, the the thought here is that if you really want something, yeah, you got to get it, you know. You, you don't give it to someone else. You don't um, step back, but you get it. Yeah, you're going to get it. Or you will get it. That's that's the idea here. So it's 
that is something that is it's good to have that in mind if you have something that you really want to do you really want to pursue go for it i see that you will be spending some more time like enjoying relaxing being out with friends um perhaps even surrounded with family yeah where you feel supported you feel happy you feel appreciated you will be spending more time with with i think it's this is um uh what shall we call it filial type of relationship so it could be like family type of, of support best friends you know soul tribe kind of thing but for some of you really your family your parents your kids your your best friends something like that you have a connection like i said in the past perhaps you had a connection that um may have ended um i feel like that is over although somebody is still like feeling the pain this could be you or this could be the person you dealt with in the past they're still pretty much hung up with that past cycle you had um sad yeah somebody is really feeling sad that they are no longer connecting with you at the same level right but i feel like a decision has been made here yeah we have justice and the tower so it's a decision that has been made if it is the breakup that's final especially if you already have the ten of cups or if especially if this is something that is coming towards you to start this year this month so if you are not with anyone right now, I feel like there is something that will occur into your life this month. This could be a new opportunity in love, in your career, in, in whatever this is, which could give you emotional, full emotional satisfaction or that sense of fulfillment. Yeah, But somebody from your past is still regretting. But you're moving on happy. You may feel um, cancer that as of the moment, you know, there is... As of the moment while I'm doing this reading, especially for those of you who are not connecting with someone new or you don't have any opportunity at hand right now, you may feel like you're lacking faith that, you know, tomorrow will bring something better for you. So there is that sense of um, you feeling displaced. You might feel like, you know, there's no hope anymore or that your life is just going down the drain. You know, there is that sense. Um... Or that there is that sense that you may want to change the change course or change direction. Um, I feel like that feeling is gonna be fleeting. You may feel that in the eight, the first eight days of the month or the first eight days as to when you watch this reading, you may feel that, but it won't last. So if you're if you're thinking like you are not walking on your own path right now let it be it's more like hang on the, hang in there um hang in there because after that fleeting moment you will get back this sense of passion yeah you know, within you that you know what you need to do in to succeed in life you need to be that queen of wands you need to go for what you want you, you need to be more aggressive in a good way you need to be bold yeah in in reaching for what you wish for yeah and i feel like the universe will this you know will support you through your friends through your family through your um acquaintances and i feel like by mid this year by mid this year you will still feel that emotional fulfillment that i was talking about in the beginning of this reading you will meet someone too yeah you will meet someone uh this is someone new cancer by the way somebody who would um somebody who is very um uh, pleasing to the eye as uh, somebody who who is curious about you Somebody who is also loving, um, well-mannered, and um, this is a new person, yeah? There's a new person here, I feel. Mm -hmm. 
I do see though that you're trying to avoid someone. So someone from your past, you're probably trying to avoid them. You don't want to be more involved in terms of emotional entanglements. You don't want to you want you don't want to go there. And I feel like you're ready to meet someone new. Yeah, and there's someone new coming into your life. Someone who would appear soft in the outside, but really has this very strong core belief in the inside so that can also um, open your curiosity towards them yeah let's see additional information for cancer passion dream lover no okay hopeful at the bottom of the deck we have sweet honey i feel like somebody in your past is still very much tied up to you i mean their energy is still very much tied up to you even after you already said no yeah um one one moment in time this person could have been your dream lover yeah it was your connection with this person may have been filled with passion good sex good you know all these things but um you're ready for someone you're ready for something new yeah, you're ready for something new. And for some of you, it's already there. Yeah, for some of you, it's already in here because you have the Ten of Cups there. Attraction. Um, you're heading for someone new, for something new. So even if there are still remnants of the energy you've had with the past person, I feel like that's something that you may have to deal with as part of wrapping up the um, the past cycle. But your energy, Cancer, is actually facing towards someone new, something new, new life. Yeah, and this could actually be very interesting too. Yeah, interesting because there's some sense of sweetness to this new person that you will meet. Like I said, this person pretty much is pleasing. Um, and there is a big attraction there. So why not, right? <laughs> I'm going to leave it at that. Let me know if this resonates in the comments section. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And don't forget to check my tarot deck, um, the Nomad Soul Wire Tarot. Um, it's in my Etsy shop. I'll post the link in the description of this video. Bye now.